Hello Trail Travelers, it's Kerry Garrison with Trail Traveler and we're talking privacy codes on GMRS radios. Stay right there, we'll be right back. All right, what is a privacy code? You may have heard it, you may have seen DCS, CTSS, subchannels, you know, all, they go by different names, but essentially what we're doing with a privacy code is it sets up a tone that is broadcast when you hit submit or when you hit transmit that the other radio, if it's set up for, is listening to. In which case, if it hears, if it's listening for a particular tone and the transmitting radio sends that tone, then it lets the, basically it lets the call go through. If it does not hear that tone, then it's going to filter out that call and you're not going to hear it. So while we call them or the industry or whatever calls them privacy tones, there's something that you do need to know about that. Now, as I said, if this has a privacy code set and this is listening for that privacy code, then these radios can communicate. However, anybody else, who's on the same channel with no privacy code set can hear the conversation, okay? So it does not make your conversation private to the rest of the world. What it does is it creates kind of a private group that you can hear each other, but you won't hear anybody else, but those people can most certainly hear your calls. That's the big difference. So they're not private. It just filters out radio transmissions that don't start with that code. Okay. So they're not encrypted. They're not encoded. They just send a tone at the beginning to say, listen, Hey, I'm on this code. I'm on this tone. This one goes, I hear that tone. I'm going to go ahead and put that transmission through. Okay. So hopefully that helps you understand what a privacy code is, all right? Now, for there's different ways of setting them up. There's DCS codes and CTSS codes and there's other stuff. We're going to deal with DCS codes. It's very, very simple. Now, with a radio such as the Bofang UV5R, you can do it on the radio or you can use the Chirp software, if, which is available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. If you're using something like the Radiotity GM30, which is one of the radios I highly, highly recommend, it has its own programming software, which is only available for Windows, or you can do it from the radio itself. Now, out in the Jeep, we have the Midland MXT500. Another popular new one is the, five, the MXT575. They're very similar in how they work, and I would imagine other Motorola radios are going to be the same. Other radios like the BTEX and stuff are going to be very similar to setting them up like these. All right, so I'm going to walk through, show you how to set these two radios up, which are basically identical in configuration. And then we'll go out to the Jeep and we'll set up the Motorola. So let's get crack. All right, here we have a standard Bofang UV. 5R, very popular radio, and normally you don't see text on here, you just see numbers. So unless you know how to use Chirp and you've programmed it, then you're going to be in frequency mode, which if we hit the orange button here, we'll go into frequency mode. So here's the channel we're going to be on, and what we do from here, you have to be in frequency mode. If you have the channels programmed, then you have to switch to frequency mode to be able to program the, the privacy codes from the unit itself. Otherwise, you have to use Chirp, and I'll show you some screenshots of how that works. So once we're in the frequency mode, we hit Menu, and we're going to go up to Menu 10. That's the Receive DCS, and then hit Menu to select the bottom, and we can select any of our privacy codes. Let's just try 023, hit menu. We're going to go two more, 
to option 12 to the transmit, change that one. And now we can go back, verify that that's there, verify that's that, that one's there, and we're ready to go. So we have the Bofang configured now. Now here we have the Radioddity GM30. Now this doesn't need to go into frequency mode because it's just programmed from the factory with channels. But the channels are editable, unlike the UV5R. So we're just going to hit menu and go to option 9, hit menu to select it, and then we can go up or down to go to our privacy codes. Again, we'll select the D023 like we did on the Bofang. Go up 2 to the transmit DCS. Do the same thing. Set that. And again, verify it. Okay. The receive is there. The transmit's there. And we hit exit and we see channel 16 with DCS. Now here's just a cheapo little radio. You can get like a three pack of these for like 40 bucks. And let's see if I can remember how to turn it on. Okay, so I can be on a channel here and underneath here it says DCS and a number. So on here, it actually took me a while to figure out how to actually set this up. We just keep hitting menu and then we have to figure out which one of these codes corresponds to the number on the Radioddity or the Bofang, because those use the N0 number D. This is just a number on here that we have to try and figure out. And I do know that 10 is 065, but it goes up to, that's uh, quite a few codes on here. So, it might take you a while to figure out which code is for what. So it took me a, a little bit of trial and error to figure it out, but it wasn't too bad. If you're all running the same radio like this, well then you just set them all the same. So that's three different handhelds. Now let's go out to the Jeep and take a look at how to set up the Midland. Now here's the Midland MXT 500. Now this should be similar if you're using a 575, except the screen is going to be on the remote itself. Here we're going to do it from the screen here. Now I've already done this and I used the programming software, which made it real easy to like change the name and everything. But what I want to point out here is we're on channel 22. So if I go channel 21, trail, and then it goes into the repeater channels. So this is channel 22 on the radio. If I hit menu, the first thing that comes up here is privacy. So I'm going to push down on it, make sure I'm on DCS. Okay, 010, you have to look this up in the manual or in the software, and it'll tell you 010 is the same as 065N. So... I'm going to want 10 for both of these. This is the receive, DCS, I'm on 10. The transmit, DCS, again, I'm on 10. And that's it. So very easy to program the privacy codes on the Motorola MXT 500 or 575. Okay, so... What did we accomplish in this video? Well, hopefully I helped explain to you what privacy codes are, how they work, what they're used for, and how to set them up on common radios. Now, I didn't go through and do screen grabs and screen captures of setting these up with the different software because unfortunately my Windows laptop is so old that I can't run the capture software and do the programming at the same time. It's just not powerful enough to do that. Um, if it worked on a Mac, that'd be one thing, but my Windows laptop is really, really pathetic. So, but I did show you how to set it up on the radio. If you need some help in setting it up with the software, let me know, but hopefully the instructions I gave you on manually setting everything up is gonna get you going because it's, it's actually very, very simple. Again, all this does is allow your radios to filter out 
other communications, other radios, but those radios are still going to hear your communications. So if you're trying to do some illegal drug dealing by setting up a privacy code, understand everybody can hear you. So they're not private. Like if I set up, a, if I'm listening on channel 16 locally, I'm going to hear people that are broadcasting to our local repeater. But if I try and transmit, they're not going to hear me because I'm not sending the privacy code that their radio is listening for. So I can hear them. They cannot hear me. Same with setting it up here. We can hear each other. We won't hear other people, but other people will hear us. So hopefully that makes some sense there. And if you have some other radio that uh, is, is done differently, I'd like to know uh, how that works, but this should cover the vast majority of the radios out there. So thanks for watching everybody. This has been Kerry with Trail Traveler talking about privacy codes on GMRS. Hope this, you found that a uh, little educational there. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. We'll see you on the trails.